So we're coming out of London onto the A1, back up to sort of my, I suppose my background roots in Hertfordshire, which is where the Hatfield House Chamber Music Festival happens. Exciting time because we're actually we're launching the festival tonight, but we're also launching this whole project, this whole Rome Tecla 300 um, celebration, which was inspired by the tricentenary of the cello. It's great to be great to be getting it underway at last. So here we are. My parents have a music school and we all grew up playing lots of different instruments in their music shop, creating a bit of havoc. I have two older brothers and a younger sister. And um, in fact, we had an in-house string quartet for a while. And we grew up on these sort of music courses that my parents did and still do, in fact, Music Hour Holidays, which ran up and down the country. And then my two other brothers joined the choir of King's College, Cambridge. And so I kind of wanted to follow their, in their footsteps. And I guess when my voice broke at King's, the cello became even more of a focus for me. And so, yes, that took me over to the States eventually. And in fact, it was when I came back from there that my cello was smashed to pieces in a plane. I couldn't afford two seats every journey. So opened the case as normal when it arrived at London Heathrow and out came this cello in pieces. So it was a difficult moment, shall we say. My teacher, Stephen Doan, had a Tecla cello. So I'd always heard of the name and the make and I'd, I'd known various musicians playing these cellos. But it was the most amazing moment when everything happened at once. We'd heard about a cello in Amsterdam at the same time as some sponsors had agreed to help acquire an instrument and suddenly things just accelerated and I met this man in London with the cello and it was just one of those great moments where everything sort of happened and that was five years ago and so it was uh, just the biggest relief to know that I now had an instrument to play on for the foreseeable future, not worrying what I would be playing the next concert on. The fact that it's had its sort of tricentenary moment in uh, 2014 was fun to be a part of that junction, so I then commissioned three new works for each centenary year by David Matthews, Mark Simpson and Charlotte Bray and they're completely different pieces. I just said, think of the role of the cello, think of that time, music, how it's evolved, um, and let your imagination run right, really. And it certainly has, they've come up with completely different uh, outcomes, and, and it's, it's been really fascinating. And then the ideas grew out of that, so started thinking about other works that could be included into a CD, other collaborations places that have meaning to me and my musical roots and taking the cello on a kind of journey. So we're starting in King's College Chapel where I was a chorister and then Hatfield House where the festival is into its fifth year. We're very, very grateful to the Salisbury's for allowing us to do our first recording here at the house, which is great. Beethoven's Ghost Trio. On to London to the Wigmore Hall uh, for recording. And now the plan is to get to Rome, which is where the cello was made. And really to, to take it back to its home and record a work by Respighi with the orchestra there, the Academy di Santa Cecilia. I'm performing with my brother Magnus and with Tom Poster, a great old friend. And because the disc is actually being recorded for the King's Choir label, we, it just so happens we're all uh, alumni of King's because uh, my brother was a chorister there, so was I, and also Tom was an undergraduate there. So it's come together really nicely in the, in the sort of connections in the CD as well. Coming up with, with ideas is one thing, but making it a reality is something completely different. You know, the journey of starting a festival and where it's come, but also this recording project is also a project in itself and, and has been a year in the making and it's just so wonderful that we're now launching the project here at Hatfield House and for that I'm ex just truly grateful and excited to be offering something as a, well hopefully a gesture of thanks and yeah it's going to be a really interesting uh, with a CD with lots of variety and lots of collaboration and I think that's what it's all about bringing people together and celebrating and, and enjoying the process.